It's not whether I'm good enough. It has nothing to do with me as an athlete and my performance or my skill set. I'm the current world champion in both events and have been for the last two years. The Olympics should be about the best of the best getting to compete. I'm very proud of my bronze medal. I really do feel like I earned that one. Not so much more than the others, but I mean, after day one, we were in fifth and we had to fight to get on the podium. The year and going through it was extremely hard and very difficult, but I knew I couldn't be verbally humiliated on a daily basis anymore. And I had gotten to a point when I didn't recognize myself that moving forward in that scenario was not an option. And so as hard as it was to walk away from Team Canada, I also somewhat felt let down by an organization and by the leadership for which who was supposed to provide a safe environment for me to do my job, and they weren't. Um, I was willing to give up an Olympics in order to be safe, but I don't think athletes should have to make that choice. The transition from Team Canada to Team USA has been something greater and hopefully will bring a lot more awareness to sport and the injustice that can happen within sport and that hopefully it won't happen to another athlete moving forward because of it and I'm good with that. It's hard to explain. It's like happiness and relief and just an overwhelming feeling of joy at the exact same point to know that everything we worked for, for years that we um, had wanted and then the opportunities that it would provide and the life that it's gonna provide. It's more than just sport. My grandfather was American. I had been living down there since 2016. So I think until she said, I'm approving your application and it became real that I am an American citizen now and I'm about to get sworn in, I think. I wasn't prepared for the aftermath of what would happen and what that would feel like. There is no like words to describe it or replace it. I want more opportunities for women within this sport. And the first step was to show we can, I can compete with the guys and women want this. And then here's an entire women's crew that can do this, that's willing to do this. Fast forward to now we've started this conversation though in the IOC allowed for bobsled to kind of start or continue the conversation and that's when they introduced monobob as a second women's event so we are equal in medal opportunity as our male counterparts what i would love to see is that men get monobob too and women also get four men that we increase the opportunity for athletes to be competing in multiple events um, and so that we all have these opportunities to be the best versions of ourselves is where I hope it really goes. And it's an honor to be able to represent a country, a country that believes in me, that's offered me an opportunity to continue sport in a safe environment. And I'm gonna do the very best that I can. It's what this country deserves and show the world what USA is all about. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.